Australian Government Summer School for Teachers of Mathematics was conducted at the University of New England in January 2008. 200 school teachers from across Australia came to hear high profile pres presentations on contemporary mathematics teaching. Barry Kazane, who is the Dean of the School of Education at Murdoch University, was one of several people delivering presentations on the use of technology in maths teaching. Barry's presentation was Learning Mathematics from the Internet. Barry, I was wondering if you could just tell us what the key themes were of your presentation. The key theme uh, is that the internet is now available to uh, students and teachers in school and also importantly in homes mm. and with increasing access to the internet, better broadband speeds, better computer penetration, mm -hmm. there are a whole lot of new opportunities for kids to learn mathematics and to learn about mathematics and right. for teachers to teach differently that I thought uh, were very important to be uh, a focus for this particular presentation and indeed beyond. Right, so there's absolutely no doubt that this is very um, relevant for contemporary teaching of mathematics. I'm just wondering if you could tell us a little bit about what were the sort of main issues that you were hoping the teachers might take away from your presentation. I guess the most important issue is that despite the fact that there are lots of difficulties still in today's classrooms getting good access to the internet yeah. and there are differences from rural to urban locations and from school to school there is now a great deal of very useful material that is mm. freely available yes. that uh, can be used in a, in a range of uh, constructive and, and, and creative ways by teachers and by kids and mm. the key issue was that uh, many teachers haven't had the time to get a good sense of uh, uh, what's available and the kinds of uh, materials that uh, are available mm. and start to think about how best to use those. I could give you a bit of a sense yeah. of the range of things. I, I, uh, we focused on six categories of material. Mm -hmm. um, interactive opportunities, yeah. which consist of uh, things that students can manipulate on the computer, mm -hmm. uh, applets of various kinds uh, that, uh, for example, allow them to manipulate 3D objects or conduct probability experiments right. uh, in a very hands-on kind of way. Uh, another category uh, is reference material, such things as encyclopedias and dictionaries and references to the history of mathematics mm -hmm. and, and, uh, and to the ways in which mathematics is used in the world to give a, a richer uh, and an immediate sense of uh, um, information, access to information that right. people needed. Uh, another category was reading material. I've uh, said to the people I was with, many schools don't have good library facilities in mm -hmm. mathematics particularly. Even many bookshops don't mm -hmm. have many mathematics books and hardly anyone ever gives their kids a maths book for Christmas or a birthday <laughs> no. and so students don't get much to read. Sure. And there's a lot of very useful material on the web that's mm -hmm. of a range of uh, uh, styles and kinds from contemporary discussions about what's happening in the yeah. world right now mm -hmm. for more sophisticated students and indeed for teachers through to much less sophisticated things for younger kids in the early primary years. So we looked at a range of those kinds of reading materials uh, that uh, really provide a supplement to the curriculum that uh, is easily accessible and, and fits in very well. The other three were we looked a little bit more briefly at communication possibilities on the net. Mm -hmm. Students um, communicating with students elsewhere in the world uh, or indeed uh, writing, uh, getting help from a teacher yes. on the web. And some of the people at the summer school themselves talked about how they have used mm -hmm. the internet uh, within their school for uh, small networks of students in a class to, to um, network with problems, to share difficulties, to talk about projects and so yeah. on. So communication generally was an area. Problem solving was uh, another avenue mm -hmm. that the web has many opportunities for kids to engage in problem solving mm -hmm. but in a way that's richer than a textbook. Yes. So they could get to uh, see responses that uh, other students had uh, given to the same problem. Mm -hmm. They could um, get some hints or solutions mm -hmm. uh, to the problems that were there last week. Uh, they could engage in problems that had a hands-on interactive kind of element. Yes. Uh, and so there's a range of those kind of materials. And then finally we looked at web quests. Uh, 
rather briefly, but these are uh, project materials that have been designed by teachers mm -hmm. to get a group of kids, usually a small group, uh, engaged in a task of some kind that's internet based, for example, to um, uh, look in the real world on the net at uh, what it would cost you to buy or to lease a motor car right. uh, and think about the, uh, the mathematics of that in mm. the wider context. Mm. So that was a range of, uh, range of kinds of uses of the internet that uh, I got the sense people uh, had some experience with but certainly uh, appreciated the chance to engage more deeply with some of that and get started to think yes. a bit more carefully about it. Yeah. Yes, it struck me from the various presenters that have been at the uh, summer school that there is just a, a huge range of material available in different formats for uh, use in the classroom and this time element for the teachers in actually tracking down what's appropriate for them is Absolutely. actually quite a challenge. Um, are you finding that teachers are feeling more and more confident in use of the materials once they select what they want to use? One of the strong reactions I got was that people simply, as you just said, haven't had the time mm. to do a lot of this work and uh, really appreciate the chance to get some good head starts mm. uh, and uh, then can start to deal with uh, the serious problem of how do you use that in yes. a particular context. Mm. The contexts vary a lot, uh, but the important thing is, start, is to have materials that you can use and then it becomes a real problem saying this is a terrific idea, mm. how in my setting can I put that into place? Right. So that, that thinking is starting and I think people are uh, understandably quite excited about the possibilities. The last few years a lot of things have been developed mm. and have been made available and uh, the stimulus of the summer school uh, to get people working on that I think has been quite helpful. Yes. Yes, and I think one of the great benefits of the summer school is this natural networking that will start to be established and teachers working together, helping each other. Indeed. The summer school website will enable some of these resources to be placed up and to lead people to where resources that already exist can be found. Mm -hmm. Are there any other um, resources or sources of information that you think would be useful for teachers? And, Maybe it's in the, the way in which they implement the, um, the internet uh, resources that they have found. I think the main, the main resource is actually access to the right sites so that they're not wasting a lot of time. Mm -hmm. um, because people, teachers don't have time to waste, they're very right. busy people. Uh, and uh, getting a, a bit of a leg up to finding the right things is uh, the first step. Yes. There's less experience in the mathematics community generally mm -hmm. on the best ways of using these materials and that's, that, that's less accessible right. at the moment. But hopefully with the, the teachers from this summer school starting to make use of these materials mm -hmm. will develop a, a bit of momentum yes. in terms of the expertise in using those things in, in mm -hmm. more productive ways. Because at the end of the day that's what matters. What, mm -hmm. what do kids learn yes. from what they do on the internet? What do they learn uh, in mathematics itself? What do they learn about mathematics mm. and indeed about themselves? Yeah. I think there's an awful lot of kids who don't understand how enormously interesting, exciting and mm. modern day yes. mathematics is because somehow it slips by in the school curriculum mm. and the internet can help that out. Yeah. No, it's certainly, I guess by comparison to what we had as kids, there's so many oh, yeah. resources, it's so rich there that it's... Um, it's hard to see how you couldn't be motivated to, to learn and be interested in mathematics. Um, I'd just like to thank you very much for your presentation at the uh, summer school and for talking to us today. It was a pleasure. Uh, thank you. Okay.